Hey everyone, today we're making gluten-free zucchini bread. I've got a few of these grown in my garden and I know some of you do too. So we want a good recipe to use them up, right? So today that's what we're doing. Uh, it's moist, it's flavorful. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here's chef joke number one. What do vegans wear when they go to the pool? A zucchini. I'm gonna work on the zucchini first because it needs time to drain. We wanna get as much of the liquid out of the zucchini as we possibly can so that it doesn't make our zucchini bread kind of too wet. So I'll cut off both ends of the zucchini and then cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut each piece in half again because what I wanna do is remove some of the seeds. Sometimes zucchini has a lot of seeds and there's a lot of water in that area. So you wanna remove that. So I'll go ahead and cut away some of those seeds uh, this one doesn't have too many seeds, so I'm just going to trim a little bit out. It just helps when you're trying to get all the moisture out. We're going to squeeze our zucchini uh, pretty, pretty firmly to get most of the water out of it. So you're going to want to grab a grater, and you can see here I've got two sizes. This is the large size, and here's the small side. I like to use the small side because I like the pieces to be small. So go ahead and just grate away, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see here that the zucchini comes out nice and fine, and if you get some big or long pieces, you can always take your knife and run it through it and chop it up a little bit. So remember those pieces of zucchini that we cut out? Well, don't throw them away. You can use them for a lot of different things. I like to take them, stick them in a Ziploc bag, and store them in the freezer. And whenever I make a smoothie, I can drop them in, or if you're gonna make soup, you can chop it up, you can, you can stir fry it, you can do whatever you want, but don't throw it away. So a good way to drain out the liquid from the zucchini is I placed it here into a uh, strainer over a bowl and then I like to just give it a nice squeeze and just keep pushing it around until most of the liquid comes out of it. So you can see I'm going to get about a half a cup of water out of the zucchini. So just keep squeezing it until you get it and I like to just leave it in the strainer as I'm mixing the rest of the ingredients. All right, so in this bowl we have all of our dry ingredients. I have my gluten-free flour here. This is Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking uh, flour that you're gonna wanna get. And to that, we're gonna add all our dry ingredients, which you can get in the description of this video. Just click down there. Here's the salt. We put a little bit of salt in there. I'm putting a little cinnamon. Now, I didn't you know, level this off. I like cinnamon, so I like to put a fair amount in there. Next, I'll add some baking powder and some baking soda. And then you want to mix that pretty well with a whisk to combine it. Now we're going to work on our wet ingredients. So I'm going to start off here by melting some butter in the microwave. Now I do that by placing it in the microwave on a low power level, say three, for about 30 second increments. And I don't want it to get too hot. So here are my wet ingredients. I have my melted butter. I have some honey. That's going to sweeten it up, of course. And then I have some applesauce, vanilla extract, a couple of eggs, and my coconut sugar, but that's not liquid, but we're gonna mix it in anyway. So in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add the butter and the coconut sugar. Grab the mixer and give it a whirl. Now we just want that sugar to liquefy a bit. Then we're gonna crack and place our eggs in the bowl as well. Next goes our unsweetened applesauce, and that's just a half a cup. And you can get the written recipe below the video. Click down there where it says show more. That applesauce is what's gonna help make this bread really moist. Now let's add some honey to this. That'll keep it nice and sweet. And remember, you can play with this. If you don't want it as sweet, you can cut back a little. But I think you're gonna enjoy the fact that this bread isn't super sweet. Next goes some vanilla extract, which is also going to help enhance the sweetness. Now we're going to blend everything together for just a few, a couple minutes here, just to make sure everything's well combined. Oh, and by the way, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now it's time to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and you can pour the whole thing right in. Blend this until everything is combined. And make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl. 
That's looking pretty good, so now we're going to add the zucchini. I like to break it up with my hand a little bit just to spread it around a little bit easier, so go ahead and do that. Then you want to stir that in with either a spoon or, in this case, I'm using a spatula. So just mix that until it's evenly distributed throughout the batter. So I'm going to pour the batter into my aluminum pan here, which is about a 9 by 4 inch pan. And then I just want to spread it out just to make sure it's evenly in the pan. So I'll place this into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for somewhere between 45 and 55 minutes. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What did the bread say to the roll when they were playing hide and seek? Ready or not, here I crumb. So after 55 minutes, I tested the bread with my toothpick and it came out clean. So it's going to vary in time frame. So you want to let this cool on a cooling rack for a few minutes so that you can at least touch it. And then I just turned it over here, as you can see, right out onto the uh, wire rack. And you're going to want to let the bread cool a little bit longer before you try and slice it. And when you do slice it, you're going to want to use a serrated knife. It just makes cutting it much easier and just saw right through it. This bread was such a hit with family and friends. They didn't even know it was gluten-free and they didn't care. The flavor, it's so moist. It's got that nice hint of cinnamon. It's just incredible. If you want to try another bread recipe, I've got a gluten-free banana bread recipe that'll knock your socks off. Click the link here on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe and you can try that as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button, just give the old drum roll and tap it, and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And if you know someone who would, might enjoy this recipe, the zucchini bread, share it with them. So we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.